What's good, everybody? Bernie Bear shirt. Yeah, we in here. All right. What's good, everybody? Man, I did some. All right. What's good, everybody? It's H back on another 12 Hub TV video. And I actually went to a store today to buy a shoe. It was quite the interesting experience because I forgot this shoe actually came out. I wanted to buy it, and um, I'm glad I actually caught a pair of retail. So let's get into it, man. It's the Lamello Subject Lamello 01. The Mellow Ball sneaker, this is it. Shout out to Puma, this is my first Puma purchase in a long time, so let's get it. Boom. Boom, the Lamello Ball one. This came out the 16th, I think, of December. It sold out on Puma's website, I know that much. And um, pretty much, almost everywhere else online from my understanding uh, i went out to dinner with a friend of mine tonight and i ended up doing a little shoe shopping i saw it on the wall at wait i get this hold on a second champs champ sports we got the bag right here so i walked in said i gotta get it and copped it now it's a size up from my normal size 12. it's a 13 they only had 13s left so i said you know what I'm probably never gonna wear it because I hoop in LeBron, so let's get it anyway. The box is ill. From the top, you can see that it's got this see-through here. I, I, I mean, I haven't bought a Puma in a while. I don't know what their things look like. I guess that's the LaMelo Ball logo right there for his SIG. Put that right here too. It's a nice logo. See that? The box is dope, man. I ain't gonna lie. But we're really here for the shoes. So as you open it up, it's got very beautiful packaging. No paper in here, which is interesting. Again, I went I went a whole full size up. So I'm assuming that, and, and just from looking at the build of these, that these do fit quite narrow. Uh, he looks like he has a narrow foot. So yeah, it just has a divider in here, no no, no tissue paper, and it kind of locks shut, that's cool. You don't see many boxes that lock shut. It has like this paper locking mechanism here. So you can see that when you shut the box. Can you focus, please? Right, whatever um <laughs> it'll lock in place and then it has like all this cool symbolism on it not from here i don't know where he's from he's from where is he from i don't know but yeah it's his first signature shoe with puma and i love this shoe man uh minute i so number one i am a big big baller fan <laughs> big baller brand fan i love the whole ball family uh, pause. I really love the way LeVar Ball raised those kids, man. The love, the the passion for them, you know, as as a as a father and a mentor, teaching them how to be the greatest that they can be, no matter what the circumstances. And you could see from all the different kids that whatever they're doing, out of the three boys, that they excel. But I mean, they all have their own personalities. You know, Lamelo's way more flamboyant than Lonzo is, and Jello is like way more chill, maybe a little more lackadaisical and stuff. That's why he hasn't applied himself well on a professional level when it comes to balling, but he's still focused and he's out there trying to make it happen. And he might make it one day, who knows? Keep trying, you know, he's still young, brother. But LaMelo just took it to a whole nother level. Rookie of the year, uh, signature shoe second year out doing his thing but i just really kind of want to get into these shoes because i saw them and i was like they did an amazing job here on doing this so all mids and low so i'm, I'm okay I, I don't know the fit of pumas i haven't even put these on i literally just got back from the store tonight and, and, and got these in the house the shoe itself it's all red okay fire red not fire red more like a no it has hints of fire red so it's all over it's a two-toned red um as you can see uh darker and a lighter Mesh toe box, nice, nice, nice mesh. Um, good padding all around, ankle everywhere. It's it's easily, it's a slide on. I, I see hints of Kobe's, I see hints of Kyrie's here. Puma's come a long way from their from their days of making, you know, uh, Clyde's and all that type of stuff. And then on the, on the um, right up under the laces it says, not from here. Yeah, these joints, man. I, I, I tell you, the mellow with the Puma symbol over here. I don't see, oh yeah, and his, and his logo right here on the tongue and then one of one. I love the whole, 
the whole story. I love everything that they did to give this kid his signature shoe. Affordable price point, $125 retail for this. So it's within range. It's right up there with those Giannis's and Kyrie's. It's actually a little cheaper than a Kyrie and a Katie's. It also says one, I hit a one on one, one of one right here. Get that in. So we get one of one on the shoe itself. These joints, man, I'm telling you, I'm not, I, I don't know. I, I wanna wear them, <laughs> but I don't want to wear them. I'm not going to go and, you know, I'm not going to do it on foot or anything for this. So you're not going to see that here. The insole, definitely unique. So they did a good job, man. They didn't make anything. They didn't spare no expense. It says Puma Basketball inside there with his logo. Now you really, you know, I'll try to get a flash picture of the insole, but it's in there. So very good quality for the price point. Solid one booty construction kind of thing. Again, it's 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 right up there, and I I, I can say like a nice soft cushioning here. I don't know what type of um, uh, foams they're using in this or anything, but um, it looks pretty good. Traction, various track. This this doesn't look like the best traction in the world, but we'll see. I mean, I don't wear it on court, so I don't know. It says rare right there, and rare on the other one, which is like a nice nod to his talent. It's a nice nod to his talent. And he's balling out, man. Like the kid can shoot, the kid is fluid with the ball, passing, everything. He's a prodigy, man. And I'm feeling the direction that Puma is taking it with his line, with his shoes, and the way they're really, really marketing him. And he's gonna be a superstar, no, no, no doubt about it. I mean, if he isn't already, if he isn't already, I won't doubt that he's gonna make the all-star team this year, get a ton of votes, and just be as big as his father imagined him to be. They, they said he was the best out of the three brothers, and he's really showing that. Passing, shooting, defense, everything is there. But yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm throw these on my feet. I'll do it on foot for y'all. Check out the end of the video for that, but these are official. Uh, again, these are a size 13. I want to hold size up. I'll put some notes at the end of the video, maybe do a voiceover and tell you what I think about it. But overall, man, these are a solid nine out of 10 for me when it comes to just shoe, the shoe itself. Um, again, I'm not probably gonna hoop in these. Uh, it's more of a collectible thing for me with this shoe because I don't hoop in you know other people's brands besides Nike, LeBron's. But um, these are really, really tough. This, everything on it, just beautiful shoe, man. Get you some, they're actually not that expensive uh, for what it's worth. Uh, the first colorway is classic in my opinion. They went really good, really, really uniquely with the red and I'm feeling it, all right? Tell me what you think about this shoe in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, check out the podcast and we are having, uh, we're still gonna go through Christmas. Yeah, we're just gonna shoot the podcast a little earlier and um, not our regular Tuesdays, but we will be back on schedule after New Year's. Yeah, so get at me. This is H with another one for you. Talk to you soon. Peace. So yeah, I definitely suggest going up half size to a full size in these. They are very snug, a lot of back um, heel padding. So definitely consider that when buying these. And they are pretty comfortable. They sit well, they ride well, look good on feet, obviously. Um, I, like if you were a wide footer, I would almost suggest, yeah, going up a full size, especially if you wear thick socks. So keep that in mind when buying them, but yeah. It's a dope shoe. I love it. Get at me in the next videos. H12OTV. Peace.